Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Stephanie celebrates, Eric makes a wish, and Lee pops Poppy's bubble. The bold and the beautiful recap and spoilers for Wednesday, January 17th indicate that John, Finn, Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, informs Eric Forrester, John McCook, that he may leave tomorrow. Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda, attacks Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park. Furthermore, Wyatt Spencer, Darren Brooks, seeks Bill Spencer's Don Diamant, assistance if he departs Los Angeles. The BMB recap for Wednesday, January 17, 2024 shows Finn and Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline McInniswood, holding hands. Steffi closes her eyes tightly as she holds Finn's shoulders. Steffi says she feels comfortable in Finn's embrace. Shin describes how wild life has become. Finn agrees but says they'll only focus on the positive tonight. Finn and Steffi exchange praises before sharing a passionate kiss. Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, and RJ Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, are visiting Eric in the hospital. Luna notes how good Eric looks. Eric likes the visits but he prefers to stay in his own bed. Eric misses Donna Logan, Jennifer Garice, and wants to get back to living his life. A concerned RJ softly informs Eric that he would rather be in that room than anywhere else. Obviously, because Eric is present. Eric laughs that as long as Luna remains by RJ's side. On the Wednesday, January 17th episode, Poppy visits Forrester Creations in search of Luna. Poppy discovers Luna is not present, but her phone rings before she leaves. Poppy receives a call from Bill Spencer, Don Diamant, who misses her. Poppy claims they have only had one date. Bill jokes that this is why the situation must be addressed with another date. Bill wants to visit Poppy tonight. Poppy hoped to spend time with Luna. So Bill offers that they lunch at I.L. Giardino's tomorrow, which Poppy gladly accepts. Poppy's smile fades fast. A door smashes and Poppy turns around to confront Lee. The excellent doctor wants to know why Poppy is visiting Forrester Creations. The bold and the beautiful recap for Wednesday, January 17th shows Wyatt going to the beach home to meet Bill. Wyatt and Bill hug and the young man gives an update. Wyatt informs Bill that he needs a change and is considering leaving L.A. Poppy informs Lee that her daughter works at Forrester Creations, which is why she is there. Lee responds that it's a convenient reason. Lee makes it known that she does not approve of Luna dating RJ. Lee points out that Luna just happens to be dating Steffi's brother. Eric talks to RJ and Luna about relaxing on the terrace, having coffee, admiring the view, and then drinking martinis. RJ swears they'll get Eric fully stocked up by the time he's discharged. Luna's phone rings and she needs to rush back to the workplace. RJ offers to accompany Luna but she insists on staying with Eric. Eric is very delighted for RJ and Luna. RJ discusses appreciation, citing Eric as a walking miracle. Steffi was terrified when she learned about Eric's condition. Steffi couldn't even talk about it, which she told Finn was extremely difficult. Steffi claims Finn gave them the gift of saving Eric's life. Finn announces that he has good news about Eric. Wyatt wonders if Bill will approve his choice to leave town. Bill claims he prefers to keep his children near, but if Wyatt feels compelled to do so, he will not object. Wyatt praises Bill for allowing him to live there and supporting him. Wyatt and Bill discuss memories. Wyatt is heartbroken since he said he called this area home. Wyatt regains his composure and informs Bill that he has located a suitable renter. Then Wyatt asks about Poppy. Bill describes her as gorgeous and mysterious. Poppy defends Luna by discussing her desired career. Lee claims that the moment Luna arrived inside Forrester Creations, she set her sights on RJ. Like mother, like daughter. Lee refers to Bill as Poppy's new sugar daddy. RJ wants to know if Eric is being treated well in the hospital. Eric compliments Finn, calling him a brilliant doctor and a beautiful person. But Eric does not want to meet Finn again in a hospital setting. Finn reports that the entire medical team is impressed with Eric's progress. If everything goes well, Eric will be home as soon as tomorrow. Steffi leaps up and down. She hugs Finn and sheds joyful tears. Returning to Lee and Poppy, another surprise is dropped. Lee knew about Bill before Poppy said his name on the phone. Lee refers to Poppy and Luna as gold diggers. Wyatt wants to know where Bill met Poppy. Bill tells Wyatt at a music festival which confuses the younger Spencer. Bill recounts Wyatt the account of the first time he saw Poppy. Bill also shares a few things from that night with Poppy. Bill was drawn to Poppy's free-spiritedness. Bill acknowledges to Wyatt that Poppy made an imprint on him that he will never forget. 
Poppy slams Lee for creating a villain version of herself. Lee has not changed her mind regarding Poppy or Luna. Lee mocks Poppy and brings up her gold-digging loves. Lee believes Poppy is just searching for a lonely, affluent sucker. Lee says that she will not rest until Poppy and Luna are gone. After Lee departs, she almost phones Bill, but Luna enters. Poppy informs Luna about Lee's gold digger charge. RJ informs Eric that while he has come a long way, he must be patient. Eric does not want to be patient. Eric wants to live. Finn and Steffi interrupt their visit. RJ alerts Shin that Eric is becoming restless. Eric expects he'll be in the hospital for a while. Eric is pleasantly surprised when Finn informs him that he can be discharged tomorrow. Wyatt wonders how Bill felt when he saw Poppy after all these years. Wyatt inquires if Poppy recognizes Bill. Of course, Bill assumes that everyone remembers him. Wyatt says that Bill and Katie Logan, Heather Tom, may not have worked out because Poppy is the appropriate lady for them. Poppy and Lee complain about Lee. Poppy informs Luna that she has dated wealthy guys, but there has never been any targeting. Poppy giggles as she imagines Lee's reaction when she discovers she was with Bill over 20 years ago. Wednesday's program ended with Eric expressing his gratitude at being released from the hospital. Finn, Steffi, and RJ circle Eric while they discuss their miracle. Eric raves about Finn being a hero. Finn advises Eric that he has had an emotional and tough process. Eric honestly didn't expect to make it this far. Eric becomes quite enthusiastic as he imagines feeling the ocean wind and the sun on his face. Wyatt gives Bill some sound dating advice. It feels lovely to be protected in your arms. Steffi sighed as Finn hugged her tightly. Finn assured Steffi that the rest of the night would be spent focusing on the positive aspects of his marriage to the most beautiful, amazing woman on the planet. Steffi returned the praise, thanking Finn for giving her and her family the most profound gift, saving Eric's life. Finn informed Steffi that Eric will be discharged the next day. RJ and Luna paid Eric a visit and noticed a significant improvement in his appearance. Luna grinned and mentioned that Eric had that twinkle back in his eyes. Eric grumbled that he preferred to stay at home in his own bed. RJ told Eric that he would be discharged as soon as the physicians determined that it was the best course of treatment. Luna received a text directing her to return to the office, but she persuaded RJ to stay and continue talking with his grandfather. Later, Eric joked with RJ, if I never see Finn again in a hospital setting, it'll be too soon. Shortly after, Finn and Steffi entered the room, with Finn informing Eric that he would soon be returning home. Eric praised Finn for saving his life. Eric was looking forward to feeling the sun on his face and the breeze from the water. Poppy dropped by Forrester's design office to visit Luna. As she entered the room, Bill contacted Poppy on her cell phone, and her face brightened up. Bill informed Poppy that he missed her, but Poppy said it was impossible because she and Bill had only had one date. That is the problem. We need to fix that, Bill replied. Poppy finished the call by promising to see Bill for dinner the next day, and Lee entered the design office, closing the door behind her. An enraged Lee couldn't believe Poppy had stopped by Forrester to look for Luna. Lee also used the occasion to criticize Luna's association with RJ, like mother, like daughter, Lee growled.